everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising the Annihilator Stealth Helicopter. This was added in the brand new Cayo Perico heist and it is basically an updated stealth version of the existing Annihilator in-game and it does have the stealth feature of the Akula so you can go off the map with this thing if you want to. And it also has like a grapple feature as well where you can grapple out of the side of it. So if you and your friends are flying about and you need to jump out very quickly, you can grapple down the side and then deliver your friends to the ground and you can carry on flying. So it's a nice little feature and it does have some awesome customization for it. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now, there's not that much to customise, but it does have some cool liveries, so we'll get to that in a second. But let's go ahead and upgrade the armour, the engine, and the handling, and then we'll get to those liveries. So we've got the basic camo. Let me go ahead and just change up the primary colour so we can see what we're doing a bit better. So the primary colour is going to change all of that, which has turned white, and the secondary colour is going to change the whole underside of the aircraft you can see there so i'll leave that black for now but let's go back to deliveries there we go basic camo you can see what that looks like now we've got the zancudo camo we got the spray camo three color outline 90 sandbox modern five color arid theater well. that looks really nice i like that We've got the Winter Camo, we've got the Urban Warrior, we've got Nature Reserve, which I can't show off. We have to unlock that through research in the bunker. we got Naval Battle, Urban Geometric, Coyote Geometric, Large Geometric, Naval Geometric, Desert Frac Fractal, Fractal, I think that's how you say that. We got an urban version of that, large digital, medium digital, small digital, and that is it. So it appears they seem to be adding more um, research to the bunker. I don't know if these were original research options, but I don't think they were. Someone can let me know in the comments down below. But I really like the look of this one. I think that looks really, really nice. I'm going to go for like a sand camo theme um, so let's go ahead and change up the primary option now to something a little bit more desert looking maybe something like sandy brown or straw brown let's just see what other options we have uh, I think I want to stick with like the sandy colors so maybe the sandy brown that looks pretty cool it's kind of like a desert camo and then the underside of it is going to change all of that, which I showed before. I think we'll just go ahead and match that on the bottom there. And that looks really, really nice. I like that. Secondary weapons. We have got some weapons on this thing. So you can go for the mounted missile barrage, which is going to add those little arms out to the side. And you can see we've got the missile barrage there. Or you can go for the mounted homing missiles. So you can choose whether you want the barrage or the homing missiles. Personally, I do like the barrage, so I'm going to go with that. And that is the thing fully customized. Not a whole lot you can change on this thing, but some of the liveries in there are really, really cool. Um, but let's take it outside and see how she flies. Okay, and we're outside. Now, the wheels do fold up on this thing, so you can hide those away. And let's go ahead and test that barrage feature. There we go, absolutely beautiful. And it is a pretty fast helicopter, to be honest, as far as helicopters go. It does appear to be quite fast. And it does have the feature of the Hunter and also some of the other aircrafts like the Cargo Bob, where if you hold the accelerator button and you hold forward on the stick, it will climb in the air. So you can see that it is climbing now. Which is kind of annoying. I know some people don't like that. Personally, I don't really find it that much of an issue. Um, but I know some people aren't a fan of that. But it does also have the stealth feature of the Akula. So you can go completely off the map as well. Which is really, really cool. 
So if you're looking for a stealth helicopter and you're not a fan of the Akula, because I know some people aren't, then maybe check out the new Annihilator stealth helicopter and see what you think. I personally prefer this thing to the Akula. I think it looks much, much nicer. But that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you did find it useful. Let me know down in the comment section whether you're going to be buying the Annihilator Stealth or whether you're not. And that's going to do it for today's video. I'll see you all in the next one.